keep moving, otherwise you stop them seeing the star. Now, <laughs> where are you from, Ian? Manchester. Manchester, lad. It used to be great up there, eh? When all them clubs were going and all that, before that daft police inspector closed them all down, eh? He's a very nice man. Now, listen. A I'm very, very nice man. <laughs> Who, who's who working you? That? What's going on? They always say that. They always do that, they yeah. Do. Very, very nice man, yes. Come I didn't on, know get you on with him. the trick. Pardon? Get on with the trick. <laughs> I, was, I was going to get on with it till you started. Now listen, don't talk to me, I'm armed, all right? Now this is a bowie knife, all right? Used to belong to David. Yeah. And, and it's sharp, see? Good, eh? Ooh. Yeah. And I've been practicing, you'll be pleased to hear, I've been practicing with all this stuff. I've got um, a scarf, see? It's got a hole in as well. Little hole in the scarf. Oh, I heard Jim Lamb. And that's to fit over the top of there. I've got um, one of these. This is a, a target. You see? This is a target. Like that, see? And that fits on there as well. And, um, and I stand over there, you see? And you hold this target like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Now listen, the target goes back on the tray, yeah. like that, that's important, and this, um, uh, hold that a second, that, that way up, all right, like that, and, uh, oh, I'll tell you what would work better, can I borrow your jacket, can I borrow your jacket, that's the best bobby ball impression I've seen in years, <laughs> now put the jacket on there, the other way around, that's it, because this is a silent valley, you know, right, leave the knob sticking out, right, this. Now, <laughs> nice jacket. Oh, look, side bents. Do you ever wear them with a centre bent? No. You will before we're through with this. <laughs> just get rid of that. See, I'm all fumble-fingered because, you know, sometimes we just put a trick into the club just for practice. You know, now, right, hold that, hold that. And this is the target, and we put the target on there like that, okay? Now we've got something to aim at, see? Um, would you try it yourself, first of all? Come round here, see? Just pull your coat... Oh, that's in the way a bit, isn't it? You can't see this. There's a thing round the back in the way. And all you do is you just pull it back and point to somewhere on there, just gently. Where would you... Centre vent? Centre vent, Ian! <laughs> now, go around the front, Ian. Go around the front. I'll try and hit that point for you. All right. I... Yeah. You think it was about there, yes? Okay, centre vent, you asked for it. Now, just hang on a second. Uh, where is it? About there, you said. Nah, you missed. <laughs> nah, you missed. Look, you're way off. You should have been up there, like that, shouldn't you? You should have been up there, or, or even up there. Would have been better than down there, wouldn't it, Ian? Yeah. Yeah, of course it would. Well, that's gone awfully wrong. Um, if we just get rid of that, that's gone. It's gone wrong. He missed. What do you mean, not again? <laughs> BBC insurance policy will cover it. Now then, I think I've got it. Yeah, great. Much better. Yeah. Look. That's it. Yeah. See, you should have been up there. <laughs> uh, shame, really. Well, if we just take that off there, like that, you see, and you can see how it's all sort of gathered up a bit rough-like, isn't it? Say yes, Paul. Yes, Paul. It is. Anyway, I can't get it through. But look, this is a very sharp knife. And in all the time I've been doing this trick, that knife has never been damaged once. <laughs> and stitches are very important, I find, you know, if you cut yourself. So, there's the knife. There's the knife. There's your jacket. It's all as it was in the beginning. Thanks for being a good sport. You do. Enjoy the night in the car.